Hi. In this video, we'll be learning about HTML lists. Now we see lists a lot on web pages. And in fact, here's a list of reasons we should be using lists. Lists make it very easy to organize information. They have a very simple structure, and they're very easy to read and write. We can also use numbers or letters to arrange things in order from most important to least important. And lists can be about anything. And we see them all the time. We see them all over the internet. We see articles like six quotes from author Umberto Eco on why people love lists. We have the 33 most important lists ever written. And there's actually a Wikipedia article called Lists of Lists of Lists. And this article holds list articles that themselves are lists of articles that are also lists. So clearly lists show up a lot on web pages. And today we'll be learning about how to make our own lists. So there's two types of lists in HTML. We have the unordered list and the ordered list. In an unordered list, there is no specific order to the items. They're just bullet points. With an ordered list, there is order. We have a first item, a second item, a third item, and these are usually denoted by numbers or letters. So first we'll be learning about how to make unordered lists. So to make an unordered list, we have to introduce the UL tag. So the UL tag defines an unordered list. And there's one more tag we're going to need, and that is the LI tag, and that stands for list item. So using the UL tag and the LI tag, we can make unordered lists. So here's an example of how we can build an unordered list. Just like with most of our HTML tags, we have an opening and a closing tag. We have the open UL tag and the closed UL tag, and the content of the list is going to go inside. So inside the UL tag, we're going to have an LI tag for each item in the list. So apples, bananas, milk, bread, they each get their own opening and closing LI tag. And the result looks like this. We have an unordered list, apples, bananas, milk, and bread, and each of them have a bullet point. Now what about ordered lists? Can you guess what the name of the tag is for an ordered list? So for an ordered list, we're going to need to introduce the OL tag. So OL tag stands for ordered list. UL for unordered, OL for ordered. So just like with the UL tag, we have an opening and closing OL tag, and the list content goes inside. So just like with the UL tag, we have an LI tag for each item in the list. Notice that the LI tag is used regardless of which type of list we're making. LI simply defines a list item. It doesn't care whether it's part of an ordered list or an unordered list. And the result here, we have a 1, 2, 3, 4 instead of bullet points. Now you may be wondering, what if a list could contain smaller lists? And this might blow your mind, but we can actually put lists inside of lists, and this is called nesting lists. So for example, let's say I had my grocery list, apples, cookies, and milk, but I wanted to give a little bit more detail as to what kind of cookies I'm buying. I could put a list inside of this list to list out exactly what kind of cookies I'm getting, chocolate chip and peanut butter. But maybe I want to get even more specific about what kind of chocolate chips I'm buying. So for that, I can put an order list inside saying number one, white chocolate chip, and number two, dark chocolate chip. And notice that every time we nest a list, we indent over, and the indentation shows the nesting structure of the lists. So what would the HTML code look like for a nested list? Well, if we start off with just a standard unordered list, apples, cookies, and milk, and we want to give a little bit more detail about the cookies, all we need to do is expand out that list item and add an unordered list inside of that list item. So underneath cookies, I'm going to have chocolate chip and peanut butter. Notice that this entire thing is the list item for the outer list. And this is the inner nested list. Let's see this in the editor. So in this program, I want to write a web page that makes a simple grocery list. So to start our list, I'm going to head over to the list section of the blocks. And here we have all the tags we learned about, OL, UL, and LI. So I want to make an unordered list for my grocery list. So I'm going to drag out the UL, put it right underneath my grocery list header. And now inside the unordered list, I need an LI, a list item, for each item in the list. So I'll drag this out. Maybe I want some apples. Drag another one out for milk. And I'll drag another one out for cookies. And maybe a last one for bread. Let's see what that looks like. Awesome. So we have a grocery list. Now. Maybe I want to get a little more specific about what kind of cookies I'm buying. I want to put an ordered list inside of this to describe the cookies that I'm getting. So that nested list, that OL, is going to have to go inside of this list item. It's going to need to go underneath cookies. So I'll pull out OL, put it right underneath cookies, and again, LI for each list item. So maybe I'm going to get chocolate chip, 
and I'm gonna get peanut butter and I'm gonna get some oatmeal raisin let's see what that looks like awesome so now we've made a nested ordered list inside of our unordered list so that is how we can add lists to our web pages now it's your turn